Hey guys, how's it going? It's Nicole, and today I'm gonna to show you how I do my washi tape tumblers. For this demonstration, I have an Ozark 20 ounce tumbler, my Fiesta washi tape from Michaels, and a straight edge razor. Preferably you wanna get a cup that's flat, doesn't really have any ridges, except for the very bottom where there's a break. I like to use these as my guides. Get your washi tape, different widths and patterns, I always start at the bottom because there's usually a break line and I use that as my guide. Work its way around, walk it through, smooth out any wrinkles. Once it slightly overlaps, take your razor blade, line it up nice and straight, voila. Nice clean cut. Select your next pattern. So you can alternate widths and colors, Sometimes I'll even repeat myself. There's no right or wrong way to wash your tape your cup. When you go ahead and start to lay it down, you're gonna wanna overlap just a hair. Line up your razor blade again with your last break line. And perfect cut every time. Take it on up, guys. Washi tape is very forgiving. If you mess up, you can always pull it off. If you have a wrinkle, just smooth it out. Find your seam, there you go. You wanna alternate different patterns and colors, widths. Sometimes I'll repeat it, maybe once or twice throughout the cup. Make sure you're keeping an eye on your creases and your wrinkles. Once you've reached close to the top, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select a width of washi tape that does not go all the way to the brim or leave too much of the cup exposed. I do this just to make sure that the epoxy really grabs onto that washi tape and the cup and gives it a nice seal. Flatten it out, give it a nice little whirl, check for any creases or for any wrinkles. Look at that seam, nice and straight. All right, now it's time to epoxy. Once you've epoxied it, go ahead and locate your seam on the opposite side. That's where you will place your decal. I always put my decal on crooked, so I've started to do this little scotch tape hack. I line up my decal with my backing still on, and I only lift and tear away one side at a time. Smooth it out. And my favorite part of all is when you get to pull the transfer tape off. It's decal time. I decided to stick with the Fiesta theme and went with a it's time to Fiesta, no time to Siesta because mama loves to Fiesta. All right, once you've placed all your decals, all that's left to do is put your final epoxy coat on. Once it's cured, you're ready to rock and roll. There you have it, folks. That is the easiest and breeziest way to jazz up your cup. That's how I do it. So um, yeah, if you have a party to go to or you have a gift to make, whatever the occasion is, go ahead and everybody has washi tape now in their stores. Everybody has tumblers now in their stores. So go ahead and hit that up. Let me know what you think. Got any questions, subscribe down at the bottom, send me an email, or just drop me a line and say hi. I always like to say hola. All right, get out of here. Hi guys. <laughs> subscribe down below, drop me a line, say hello. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna, sh before I started my washi tape. Start washing that cut. Boom. How was that? 
Oh, that's so cheesy.